You saw that lovely picture, just, just now with the two Scarlet Ibis and that lovely Croton. I have that Croton. You have one? You should get one if you don't have one. All right, welcome back to the Morning Brew. It is just about 13 minutes after the hour of 7 o'clock, and we stay in the political arena. This time we're going to be looking at the by-elections that are coming up on the 25th of January as well, same day as the THA election, and we have the People's National Movement representative for uh, ARIMA, Arima Central, Dr. Juliet Hillary Bernard, who is on Zoom to speak with us this morning. Of course, we did invite the United National Congress candidate as well, but they've decided that they're not coming until Natalie Lagoa apologizes for her factual statement, which is not going to happen. So we'll keep inviting them, of course, because that's we want both political uh, parties to be represented here so that they can share their views until they accept. We'll continue inviting. Good morning to you, Dr. Bernard. Good morning to you, Natalie, and good morning to everyone. Today. Welcome to the Morning Brew. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. So, uh, Arima Central and the former uh, mayor is on record saying that she could not thought she could not have thought of anybody else, you know, to replace her in the by-election. So she's happy to have chosen you because she knows you're a hardworking woman. But before we get into that. One of the things I am curious about is when we have these by-elections, do you still all have to face a screening committee? Absolutely, yes. It's just as if it's a regular, regularly scheduled election. We go through the process in exactly the same way. And were you surprised when you got the nod? No, I wouldn't say I was surprised at all. Um, but there's always, you know, it is a screening and the, this decision rests with those who sit on the screening committee. So I'm just very happy, grateful that they selected me because I'm red and ready to work. <laughs> right. Now, one of the issues I can remember, you know, as a journalist coming out of Arima was the Arima market and what was happening there. You, if you are successful at the polls, what will you do to address that particular issue for the vendors? Well, the market is always a, a work in progress. I live very, very close to the market. I am there very regularly, and I think we can all appreciate the improvements that have been established over the last few years, and we continue to work with all of the stakeholders in bringing the market into something that all of us would be happy and proud about right so okay. you know i did serve previously on the council a few years ago and i was part of what we called at that time the market committee so i did have interaction with quite a few of the vendors quite a few of the burgesses of course mm. so it's a work in progress and i think we're getting better and better every day all right, and you know, when it comes on to ARIMA, pe people, people are invested, when, when I look at the constituents, the people are invested in the quality of their life and what happens, you know, within Very the district. Very much so. Yeah, within the district. But, you know, when you, when, especially at the local government <coughs> level, a lot of services, a lot of services happen at the local government level. But somehow, that's where we always get the cry for the basic services that people are expecting. Again, if you're chosen, what are some of those issues that you're going to be looking to address in Arima Central? I know that one of the biggest issues presently in Arima is the issue of water. And that is under the purview of the Water and Sewerage Authority. And while our people on the ground reach out to us as local representatives, you know, notice I'm speaking in the present. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, we then have to make the connection with the national agency. And I'm so happy that even as we consider local government reform, this is one of the aspects that will be put into place where we can go directly to WASA. We don't have to go through a member of parliament. You know, we can communicate directly to get the issues at least understood and then ironed out. So um, many of the issues that people have also have to do with, you know, what we can actually do 
at the council level. So, of course, I'm going to be pursuing those issues very, very diligently so that all of us, we're all neighbors, you know, <laughs> living yeah. in this area, and all of us experience the same issues. So we all want it to be better, and that's what I'm about. You know, I you was know. just talking to political analyst, Dr. Uh, Bishnu Raghunath, who was saying that when you have central government and local government being controlled by the same political entity, it should make the ease of doing business better. But somehow we don't see that. We'll have a people's national movement at central government, also at local government, but yet the people are still <coughs> crying for basic necessities such as water. Yes, well, you know, people would want to expect perfection. There's no way in the world you're getting perfection. And sometimes the people who are most vocal are those who are just extremely impatient. And I can understand the impatience, but for the purpose of this electoral process, folks have to remember that we choose representatives who can actually represent us. I won't accept that because the ruling party at, the ta at this moment is my party, and we are going to more than likely win this, we are going to win this electoral seat. I won't accept that I, as a person, can't make any difference whatsoever. Yes, we are in the party, but we do have new people coming in, and we have people with different ideas and possibly ways to encourage others to do a little bit better where they may not have, you know, pushed for it in that particular direction before. Sometimes you have to take baby steps to get the big thing done. And I'm, I'm about taking, you know, whatever means is necessary to get the job done little by little. And I'm a person who's very, very persistent. So we will get, we will get these things ironed out. Right. No, you are a mature woman. I'm not here to guess your age, or I know women are very, you know, <laughs> uh, very ticklish about that, but I can say that you're a mature woman. Do you think it's acceptable <laughs> that in 2021 people are still without pipe-borne water? No, I think everybody should have pipe-borne water everywhere in the world. There's enough water for everybody. There's enough water for everybody. We just have to get the system right. And we also have to be more responsible because on one hand, I can see people just leaving a hose running and then next week they're crying that they don't have water. I'm not saying it's all about that, but we have as a people to be much more responsible about our resources. Why should the people of Arima Central choose Dr. Juliet Bernard to represent them? Because they know I am one of them. They know that I'm very passionate about my environment and my community. They know that I'm a very hard worker and I'm a very caring person. You know, I don't have time or any agenda to be, um, you know, disingenuous with anybody. I am about living the best life we can live in the time now, in the present. So I will do anything that I can for everybody. I wish I can do it all, but I can't. But I have the responsibility and the duty in my life philosophy to do the best I can for everyone who comes in front of me. I'm happy you said that, and I'm hoping that we'll actually see it materializing if you're successful at the polls. Because a lot of times we hear from people, a lot, a lot of times, especially when we're in the media, you hear from people that people will literally pave a piece of road that they think PNM supporters are and leave the UNC part unpaved and all these kind of frivolity and stupidness that I personally don't understand. Because if you want to sway people and if you want to get the vote, then you have to serve everybody. But of course. But somehow you we know, don't I think see that's it. absolutely ridiculous. You know, you have a drain in front of you and the drain is boxed in front of you and it's not boxed in front of another neighbor who's possibly from a different party, well, the water is going to eventually affect you. I mean, that's just pure stupidity. I'm sorry. Well, you know, you know what, Dr. Bernard, I have seen that stupid. I live in, in, in Chaguanas, and I have seen people show up to pave the road and do the box drain and pave this side of the road. And Auntie Alison Geddes have to be saying, but what is the point? Just 
come across, <laughs> I would not, I swear to you, would not come on the other side. I haven't no, I, seen that level of stupidity. But you know, as a, as a local government practitioner, if I petition to have a road paved, I am expecting the entire road to be paved. Now, if a team goes out and does that sort of stupidness, then I am the one who's going to be blamed about it. And I have to be given the, the wherewithal to go and say, at least in front of the administration, listen, this, this cannot be, this needs to be fixed. And we have to have a good enough relationship with our administrative arm that they will listen to what we're saying and they will make sure that this thing is, is fixed. You know, because we cannot keep taking blame for things that, that go wrong on purpose yeah. when we are trying our best to do what is correct. All right. Dr. Bernard, thank you so much for speaking with us this morning. And all the best to you come January thank 25. You. Thank you very welcome. much. You're all the best welcome. to you too. Thank you. Dr. Juliet Hillary Bernard there, the People's National Movement representative for Arima Central in the by-election uh, that's carded for the 25th of January. So she says that she's not here. She's here to serve everybody, and she wishes she could do everything. But, you know, she doesn't have basically no cocoa in the sun. She's just trying to here to serve the people. She's a good person, and she works hard, and she's a caring person. So let's see what happens on the 25th. We take a break, and we'll be back with you.